Hey guys, it's Jamie from Jamie's Garage. Today I'm at my shop, Elite Motor Works in Sarasota. We have a sleeper in the shop. Check this out. Over here is a CLK 55, I'm gonna cover up the license plate, 55 AMG. Some people call this Grandma Gold. I call it Sarasota Silver. Steven's over here doing some work on it. But here, check this out. This, has a, this is a full Kleeman car. It's a Kleeman supercharger. It's got 550 horsepower, I think. It's even got the Kleeman badge. Like you would not, I mean, convertible, Sarasota Silver, you would never expect that for this car. We're doing some valve covers on it. We're doing a drive belt. Interesting enough, the belt is, uh, you can't just use a factory belt. We have to use a different belt. The one we're using is actually from a Saab. Have a nice nap. But you would see this down the, like if you saw this car on the road, you would not expect it to have a 550 horsepower supercharged V8 under the hood. Mercedes S65 twin turbo V12. What do you think of this one? I don't more like it. This, I like is, that one. this is the one that you want to work on. Ah, what'd you do to this car? Uh, just a brake fluid flush on this one. And an oil change. And an oil change. And a monkey. Oh yeah, so let's talk about the monkey. The little elite monkey. Okay, so this is what we do for our brand new customers. All of our customers who are new, they get a red key tag on the key. So everyone in the shop knows that's a new customer. After the car is washed, our car washer will put a monkey along with a thank you card. And it says, we're not monkeying around. We really care about your business. And signed by all of us. Yeah, and everyone in the shop signs that card. So it's just a little, you know, extra added touch to show our new customers that we really appreciate them. Ah, that is such a gorgeous car. <laughs> so the speaker like rotates out. The interior of this thing is so nice. I want one of these. Hey, you know what? If you work hard enough, Joey. I'll get one of these one day. If you work hard enough, I might be able to get another one of these. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be a productive slave today. <laughs> Yeah, twin turbo V12, this is this car's nice. Today's like Mercedes day. Yeah, it must be. So this is one just getting a basic service and inspection, I'm actually getting ready to go out of town. This is actually a customer of mine who's been in my customer for like nine years, I think, which my shop's only been open almost 10 years. So from the very beginning. I love this tool. So this is a pressure bleeder for the brakes. So you fill in new brake fluid and then it pushes it in through the reservoir up top. And then this hose right here sucks the old brake fluid out. So it'll open up the caliper and it'll suck the old fluid out and then dump it in under here. And then you could also adjust the pressure. It's got a regulator valve, you can adjust it. It's really nice. This thing, this makes life a lot easier when you're pressure bleeding brakes, right? No pumpy pumpy? Correct. I like the headlight. I like the headlight. Yeah. Every time you look, every time you have that thing on and I'm talking to you, you're blinding me. <laughs> Joey's working on another Mercedes G Wagon. What do we got going on with this one? Just doing a quick once over. It's got uh, it. It's going to need an auxiliary battery and it's got an AAS warning. All right. Function the dash. All right. So we're going to check the AAS warning and, uh, Look at this red interior. Ooh, it's red too. Joey likes it. Of course he likes it. Yeah. All right, so Joey's figured out he's gonna test the auxiliary battery. Right there it that is. Guy. Cool. I think we have one of these on the shelf. Too. We, we might have one in stock. So. Yeah, check it out. Yeah, check it out. So sometimes the auxiliary battery goes bad and it'll cause a malfunction like we're having the AAS yeah, light. Yeah, a bunch of low voltage problems and the main battery is actually weak as well. So tested this, this is weak. I'm going to test that. If that's weak, then uh, we'll replace both, put it back together. All right, so the main battery is weak. What what year is this car? Uh, an 11. 2011, is that yeah. the original battery? No, it's an 18, but oh, they don't drive it. So the battery goes off. Oh yeah, because they, they've only driven this car like, what'd you say, uh, 600 miles? Yeah, 600 or 700 miles in the last, last oil change, which we did like six or seven months ago. <laughs> so, they're, so they're driving a hundred, literally a hundred miles a month. Yeah. They don't really drive it. It's, yeah. it's 
and then also a brand new car. Yeah, so I'll see if either that can be recharged or we'll have to get it replaced, but it's showing it's a little weak, so we're gonna test this one too and see what's going on. Yep. He's working on the Mini. Funny thing is he owns a Mini. So, what'd you say? I thought you said you own two of them. I was like, no, you only own, not that I know of. So he's doing a tire rotation, oil change. And actually the uh, tires are rotating when it came in. So I'm not sure why we're doing another rotation. Dad jokes. This is the week of Thanksgiving. We're only open three days. Then we're closed Thursday and Friday. And we have a full pack schedule. We got a lot going on. Right now, Steven's working on this 996 Porsche Carrera. It's got a shifter, a floppy shifter. Here's a shifter assembly that we took out. You can see all the extra play here. So these bushings wear out. You can actually take these bushings out, put in new plastic bushings. They have upgraded metal bushings. What we did, we upgraded the whole assembly to a GT3 997 assembly because it's got a little bit of a shorter throw and it comes with all the metal, metal bushings. It takes care of everything in one shot. Eric's over here, he's our BMW guy. So he's got a, a Z3, he's doing a clutch in. Looks like he's got the transmission jack already hooked up. And then he got pulled off because we got a customer over here that's got on the CBS data, which is a condition-based service for BMW. It basically, it's telling them in the instrument cluster that he needs rear brakes. He looked at the rear brakes, doesn't need them. Doesn't need the brakes, right? No, it does not. All right. CBS data was off. So the CBS, CBS data wasn't reading correctly. So I don't know if someone replaced them in the past and they just didn't reset the light. I'm not sure, it's a first time customer for us. So he's gonna go in and uh, reset the CBS data so that way it's not showing it needs brakes anymore. That's, that's an easy fix. Okay, so the rear washers apparently aren't working. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, they work great. They work great for the car behind them. <laughs> Could you imagine you're at a light? <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> we got Joey over here working on the Mercedes. So he's got an E63 AMG where the park button is like really sticky. So we're gonna go in there and see if we can just clean it out. Usually what happens, somebody spills coffee or something and it gets in there and just dries up and gets real sticky. So we're gonna see if we can maybe steam clean it out or fix it. We're gonna go and take a look and see how severe it is. And then what else, what are you doing in this GL over here? Uh, air springs. Depth service and a whole bunch of Oh, that's things. right, it's a diesel. Oh yeah, the diesel. So it's got diesel motor mounts. And those are like impossible. Oh to get. yeah, yeah. So we're waiting on those. As well. That's right. They blew up and they made a giant. Mess. They blew up and got gray matter everywhere. Let me show you guys. So we've got this Mercedes GL. It's a diesel, right? So it's got air springs. We're gonna put air springs in it, uh, some basic maintenance and service, do so a depth service. The engine mounts, I'll have to show it to you when he gets it up in the air they leak and they push the fluid, they're fluid filled engine mounts and they leak this gray goopy stuff past the bracket and then leaks down and it looks really gross. Uh, so anyway, it needs engine mounts. We're waiting on those. We have the rest of the parts. So he's kind of working between that car and the, and the AMG. Once he gets his car up in the air, I'll show you what those mounts look like. And then we have Garrett. Garrett is our like uh, GS, right? So he does all of our oil services, inspections, kind of the, you know, all the maintenance stuff. And if he sees something that it's serious, then he writes a report on it. We'll let the customer know if the customer wants to do it, then that uh, more serious job will go to like an ATEC. So you got a TDI too. Toreg. What are you doing to this one? I didn't hear you. Say that again. Uh, evaluation and it came in <laughs> for a check in. Came in? You said came in? You said came in. Came in for a check engine light. Yeah. <laughs> what are you, Nelly? Here, take, take off your glasses. What? What are you? You ready for the big game? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Getting ready? <laughs> and then here's Rich. His job is to, his job is to make sure that everybody is doing what they're supposed to be doing, keeps everybody on track. He's kind of like the shop cheerleader and tells everybody what to do. I'm gonna get some barbecue for the guys since they work really hard, and it's the week of Thanksgiving. Got pork, chicken, all the good stuff. 
it's nice and quiet. You guys must really enjoy this food. Mm -hmm. It's either that or I just turned the camera on. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> yeah. well, that All right, so the reason we're pulling the transmission out was you guys saw the shifter. We got the play fix in the shifter, but the problem is the shifter rod is not springing back to neutral. So I'll let Steven kind of tell you why we got this thing out. So common problem generally is the fact that this spring will break, which is the detent press spring that's in this hole right here that allows this bar to center when there's load against it. But due to the fact that the gearbox hasn't been maintained properly, the oil has gummed up in the bushings of the shift rods and the tension is greater than the spring is able to push so the spring can't push on it which isn't so this is because i know this is really hard to yeah you can see the spring right there moving as i so that spring should be keeping pressure on this to bring it back to center and it's not doing that correct because it's gummed up right because they didn't change their fluid correct change your fluid people and then there's romeo who didn't know i was getting ready to film him <laughs> <laughs> he's the uh the store manager here How you doing? he's the guy in charge all right so in this mercedes joey's getting the steamer warmed up here's the park button i don't know if you can tell you can actually see there's some stuff around it see how it snaps it just kind of sticks there it's not really popping back up so hopefully we can clean it and get it working again if we can then that's great the customer doesn't have to buy anything else uh if it doesn't work, he's going to have to buy another one of these. Joey's got the uh, shifter assembly, which is all electronic. And you can see all the coffee or yeah. pina coladas or whatever the customer is doing. <laughs> pina coladas, <laughs> the margaritas. Yeah, so you might be thinking, well, he's destroying it with water. Well, the water is evaporating, should be, for one. And two, he's, he's going to need so little water. Yeah, not a lot. And if it doesn't work, he's going to need a new part anyways so we're just trying to do this and save the guy from having to buy a part Ew. Yeah, that's pretty gross yeah all right how's it work crisp oh i can hear the clicks all right try it i'm gonna hit it with some contact cleaner oil as well good idea contact oil cleaner it's thinking right there that's thinking all right so part of garrett's job gabriel we call him is um, inspecting the tires. Anytime a car comes in for an oil servicing like that, we always check everything. We want to make sure the car is safe for the customer. And look what he found right there. There's a screw in that one. A screw, okay. Yeah. What's left? But there's no tire light on? Nope. All right, interesting. Oh, this one's got a nice, nice fat one right there. Oh, yeah. So it's a possibility that it's really short and maybe it didn't puncture the tire. So we're going to have to Play right that check that. If it's leaking, obviously this one is a little too close to the sidewall. That's probably going to need a new tire. Hopefully it didn't puncture the tire. Then back here, this one might be repairable because it was, well, you already rotated it, but oh, right there. That one should be repairable. All right, Joey got the engine mounts done on the GL. He was also doing some air springs, uh, some other maintenance. What else did you do to this? Yeah, rear air springs. Step fluid, brake fluid flush, cabin filters. Most def, putting def fluid most in. mostly maintenance for the exception of the engine mounts, and then he's putting def fluid in it. Remember that rear air spring? I can send you a picture of it. What? what was, the air spring was busted and sideways. Oh yeah, the air spring was completely blown out on this thing. But she fixed. She fixed. And then uh, it's a diesel, so it's getting def fluid. All right, it's getting near the end of the day, and we actually have the car. Well, not that car. That's my car. But we got the cars backed in. This is part of a process. We back in the customer's cars after they're cleaned, ready to be picked up. So when they come in, it's just an easy, you know, exit. Uh, so anyway, getting these cars wrapped up. I know they got a couple more back there they're washing. And uh, get these customers their cars so they can have them for the holiday. All right, we got the AAS warning taken care of. It was just a low voltage issue. So Joey got a new battery, a new auxiliary battery, cleared all the fault codes. Everything is finally good on this. Oh, I love the way that sounds, just like a tank. Oh, it's so solid. This thing is just great. I love these things. Here's something else that we have right here is this drop box, which is actually really nice. So 
uh, customers can come and fill out the envelope, put the keys in the envelope. It's locked in here and nobody can get to it. That way in the morning we can unlock it and access the keys. We also have these lockers that we customize the, um, the combinations for. So like if customers come to pick up the car after hours, we can put the key in here, give them a custom phone, or usually we do the last three of their phone number or whatever is convenient for them if they want us to use a certain code. We set it to that code. They come in here, they put in the code, open it up, get the keys, and they're ready to go, which is very convenient. Check out the inside here. When you come inside, here's our showroom right here. We have these really comfy couches. Uh, people say we should get a TV. I say no, because I don't want people hanging out for too long. <laughs> We've got uh, some products over here, a cooler with some good stuff. Looks like it needs to be stocked. We're getting a little low, so I'll have to send the guys to Sam's Club. A little foosball table. Here are the guys. Oh, they're on the phone. Yes, sir. Try to keep it quiet. These guys always do a really good job. These are the beautiful faces that you get to see when you come in here. Yes, sir. I will go ahead and get those parts ordered for you. And, uh... Monday. All right, thank you very much for your business, sir. This was actually from Joey's motorcycle. The chain popped off. We cleaned it up, and it makes a pretty cool little holder there. We always play around with that. I think everybody is thinking, like, I kind of talked about and showed what all you guys do, but what do I do? Stand, uh, let's, 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 let's hear it from you guys. What do I do? Man behind the wants to turn the music down all day. <laughs> <laughs> Provide us a great work environment. Oh, look at that. You'll, oh, you'll, you'll see a bonus in your check this week. <laughs> what, what is it that I do, Rich? I show what everybody else does. You stand there and look pretty most days. You make all the videos. <laughs> I'm the guy behind the camera. I'm, I'm the guy behind the camera just doing this. This is what I do all day. Just point right here. Do that. <laughs> This is the part of the video where I normally would wrap it up, but I, I don't have like an outro. I don't have like a, like a common thing. Maybe you guys can help me out, put something in the comments. Like what should be my, do I, I need like an outro, right? I need like a thing. I need like a saying. I don't have one. So I'm just gonna say, see ya, peace. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like. <laughs> Bye Felicia. Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye. All right, we're gonna get everything wrapped up here. Thank you guys, have a great Thanksgiving. Peace.